Hey everybody, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. I'm Slayer Mathis, and the last time we went over and discussed every single Master Quartz in the entire game. Of course, when they're all at level 5, and I am pretty... I mean, it's useful to know that stuff, see what fits you well if you're not looking for 100% completion. Uh, you know, find out what ones you like, which ones you don't. Um... Just hopefully, if you don't want to do 100% completion, don't do Calamity, because that one basically requires 100% completion. We are here at the Trista Chapel. I should probably specify that, because if we go and talk to Father Paolo... Not on how I'm scheduled to begin soon, is it not? Mm, I hope he doesn't wind up in the middle of it. something wrong, Father? Oh, hello. I hate to put anything more onto your young shoulders, but you may be able to help. Would you lend me your aid? I don't mean to pressure you, of course. I imagine your mind is already occupied with, well, pressing matters. Sure, we're free until noon for obvious reasons. What do you need? Thank you so much. My quest concerns a fellow clergyman, a traveling priest who visited us this morning, actually. Priests travel? Some of them. They've sent to places without churches to fulfill various religious duties there. That's right. Ever since the war began, the church has been dispatching even more of them across our boat now. It's our duty to support people in need. Traveling priests can do so in areas like those like myself cannot. This priest, however, only made the briefest of stops here, saying he wanted to learn more about the state of the country. Left already? That is rather worrisome. There's no telling what the fallout of the battle in Heimdall could be. The fact that he was an elderly gentleman only served to compound my concerns, too. If you could, would you mind checking to see whether or not he arrived safely at his destination? I think we can do that. It would be nearly impossible to do in time if we had to use the trains, but it should be doable with the Courageous. Yeah, it sounds like you picked the right guys for the job! Alright, I agree. Let's see if we can- if we can't get any updates on this old man's safety. Now oh, that's settled. Where did everybody go, Father? He said he was bound for the church in Kelp. So I'm very upset about what had happened there. I can only imagine he wanted to see the damage for himself. Understood? Okay, gang, okay. next up, Keldic. Thank you for doing this for me. I very much appreciate it. And we get the quest, Absentee Father. Uh, and I might as well talk to everyone who are in the churches. I come to the church whenever there's a battle nearby, it's just safer that way. It helps that Mick is always lets us know in, in advance when one's brewing too. I really don't know where he gets all his information from, but I can't imagine where we'd be without him. Whenever a battle starts brewing, I come here to pray. I feel so much calmer than I would at home, just by virtue of it feeling that much closer to the goddess. We will always be here whenever the people in this town need our aid, no matter what happens. So let's all pray to the goddess that she might heal the sadness of this world. So yeah, uh, basically the way that this quest is going to go, I'm just going to say it now. Um, we'll keep going to different places. Um, this guy will not be there. So we move on to the next town and we visit, I think we do visit every single town. Uh, we're at the end of the quest, we visit. Okay, ready to Every get started? Town. Right. Okay, here I go. Uh, Try not no, to be let's reckless. Have Emma. I've got this. Let's have Emma in the sidecar. And I'm just gonna take the highway because you can do that. You can legitimately follow the highway between towns. Uh, I think the only. Wait. Ruer and Emir are disconnected from everywhere else, but I believe the other three towns you can just... Or other four. Basically, everywhere else you can, uh... You can travel the... We'll have to fight our way through! Onward! We're gonna just bully these guys. It's fine. We made it out! Could've sworn there was a third one, but apparently not into Keldic. Of course, we will be going through talking to people in these towns when we are, uh, when we're done with this. Uh, I'll be next episode. Whew. Excuse me, Father, but could I ask you a question? Has the traveling priest visited this church recently? He did indeed. In fact, he even made it a point to visit everyone affected by the assault. The fact that a priest came from the holy city of Arteria came, uh, came all that way to visit was rather motivating for all of us. I see. There wasn't any point in worrying when he was just a quick train ride away. I don't see him here, though. I only meant that he wanted to see more of the war's impact on the country firsthand. I imagine he's probably heading off for his next destination by now. Really? That's somewhat worrisome. 
can imagine the trains will be running as scheduled with the battle for Heimdall beginning at noon. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Do you tell where you're going, Father? Cool. I'd like to go and check up on him if I can. I believe his next destination was Borehard Cathedral. Just one step away, but leave now we might be able to catch up to him. Yeah. I would be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy, but we have a good compared to the people of Heimdall. There's no escape for them. They just have to bear with it all. We call ourselves sins of the Empire. We just let them suffer through that. Sadly, all I can do is pray for everyone's safety. What a lovely old lady. Naiman keeps wandering off on his own, no matter how many times I tell him not to. That right now, he needs rest more than anything. I wish he'd take that to heart. On the other hand, the fact that he even has the energy and motivation to work is a good thing. That just goes to show how bright the emergence passion burns. How are you feeling, Luis? Think you might be able to come home soon? Some patient dad. As soon as you go through rehabilitation, so maybe a couple weeks? We'll both take the time to learn how to do some housework. Oh yeah, of course. You chore experts by then, promise. So uh, please stop glaring at us like that. Turn from old man Heinz, the grand market's reopening today. Oh man, now this is what I've been waiting for. I gotta hurry up and finish this rehab so I can get back to my store ASAP. Marcus been making a steady recovery, so there's no need to worry if yourself over him. No good comes from trying to force yourself into it. back into life is normal, though. Don't go following Lyman's example. You'll only have yourself to blame if your wounds open up again. Sorry, I'll stay put for now. Mm, so long as you get it. Man, I am struggling to talk without yawning today. So great. I always seem to do that in the Try first episodes reckless. of recording what? sessions. Um, I don't know why. It's like, I'm not tired, but... I think just sometimes talking for extended periods of time... Kinda just mess with me a little bit. Pop onto the Kreutzen Highway, just keep driving along. It is a hundred percent quicker to. Uh, Are you sure we should be going up against that thing? Well, no, that's why we're not going to be going up against that thing. I can do this. My turn. Here I go. Ah, this Perhaps is going to take too long. Know. I'll handle it. Bye. -bye. Um. What was saying? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not tired. It's just like I think just talking for a while. Uh, just I don't know, man. I, I swear I'm not bored by the game. That's definitely not. It. I mean, right now we're not really doing too much interesting, but I mean we're getting towards the finale of the game, so. So you don't hear for the bit of bill of a traveling priest, but let's just ask to be sure. Excuse me, did a traveling priest happen to stop by here recently? I certainly did. He wasted no time in asking for details about the Christian province's current state, too. I have mean, safely, thank goodness. You have some business with him, perchance. I'm not particularly fond of his kind. They have far too much leeway. Traveling or not, he is a priest. He is expected to uphold the order of the church and conduct himself as a man of the cloth. I expect it man, it seems like there's no love lost between them. Some priests don't appear to behave all that differently from the regular ones, as far as I can tell. You know where he is now? You mentioned something about one. You get better grasp on the effects of this war. Not again. He looks again, then. Certainly is a surprise. I have to know where his next destination was. He said he was heading to Le Grand. Much like here, he wishes to visit the church, then. Thank you for the information. The trains will be stopping soon, so... This is very Indeed, we should. Archbishop Amon was working well into the night yesterday. He seems to have something on his mind, but he refuses to speak anything about it. I'm concerned about how his, 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 his health is well, seeing as how he's doing it on top of the daily basis. I'll have to do what I can to lighten his burden. Ah, idiots, why don't you just grant us peace? I'm decided to follow Sister Tatiana's example and devote myself to helping others, especially seeing as how things are bound to become even harsher for everyone now. Of course, there's not much someone like me can do, but even then I must try. But this is what Noblesse Oblige is truly about. No one used to say that we should stay in the church for now. There's lots of books here too, so Robbie's happy. This is really a nice place. Hey, hey, where are you guys going? It's seriously, yeah, be careful. <laughs> I've had an 
hundreds of nobles were coming in today to relieve their worries. Of course, they should feel no shame in doing so, for they unites us all regardless of status. Let us pray together then, for Adios is always with us. Uh, on the note of noblesse oblige, that's such a weird word. Well, phrase. Um, it's gotta be like French or something. And as we all know, French is stupid. <laughs> Is it out? South Oh god, that's a, you know what? You know what? that's a long highway, I don't want to deal with that. Where do you want to go? I'm just gonna pop out on the Google Cram. Just do that right away. So this is kind of your this quest is your marker to go and visit every town. Uh, it's sort of your way to tell you that there is new dialogue for everyone in every town, so yeah. Well, if it is in this experience, what can I do for you kids? Sorry to bother you, father, but we have something urgent to ask you. Traveling priest? You mean that old dude who was just here a while ago? Maybe? Man, he was built for an old guy, believe you me. This by though, I would have loved to jail them more if I had the time. Yeah, being a traveling priest must be pretty rough right now with everything going on, though. You're telling me. It's good to know he's still alright, at the very least. It's not that any of this makes sense. He's fine, what does it make sense about that? Going from Trish to Legram takes five hours, even without any breaks. We somehow managed to get here not only faster than that, but also made stop Celtic and Berea hard? How? It's true. Under normal circumstances, he'd just be arriving here now, even if he'd boarded a train early this morning. Father, do you happen to know where he is now? He said he had something to do over in Ruhr Cathedral, actually. Maybe he's probably out of the way. Ruhr? He said more than half a day's travel from here in ideal conditions. What did anyone want to do in Ruhr anyway? Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if he was already there, though, wouldn't it? It's insane, but I want to make sure. Let's head over to Ruhr and check. Uh, cool. Good luck with whatever's going on, I guess. We're hearing, uh, we're hearing that we're going to see a lot of refugees arriving in the ground today. Which is why we'll be doing everything in our power to help them, won't we, Father? Yeah, sure. Just don't burn yourself out with all that work, okay? I don't like Hamilcar. Hamilcar's lame. Lazy. Lazy piece of work. Back in my day, our Where bishops, they weren't lazy at Where all. Back in my day, if you were a bishop, if you was a man of the cloth, you would be working day and night. We don't sleep when you, at, at all, ever. Nailed it. Pop on into the Ruhr Cathedral. That's how it's actually pronounced. Oh, look, it's Amon. Welcome to Rural Cathedral! Oh, it's you, Alicia! What can I do for you? Actually, there's something I want to ask you. Now, I think I know who you might be referring to! Indeed, a traveling priest did pass this way not too long ago. What? That doesn't make any sense. Must be some kind of trick to this. A traveling priest or not, I doubt he needs to be on the move this much. I presume he's already left. You wouldn't have known where his des next destination was, would you? He might turn to his head for the travel in a mirror. Said there was something you needed to look into. You just missed him, in fact. You did? In that case, with the mirror being three hours away, there's no way he could get there ahead of us, right? Time to find out. Let's skedaddle. And set a course for your mirror. Thank you for your help, Father. Nothing ever. May the goddess's light shine upon you. Good day to you. We'll be holding a very special place to pray for peace very soon. We shall offer up our prayers to the goddess that she might wipe away the sadness that hangs over our world. You are, of course, more than welcome to join us. Uh, there is one other person out here in this cath cathedral. Sorry. I can hardly believe the worst final battle is at hand. It wasn't long ago that I was last in that area conducting mass either. I can only pray that no more tragedies like the one in Celtic befall this nation. Now I should dwell on negative. I'm a sister of the church. I need to put my faith in the goddess and strive to convey her mercies to all. And of course, this one we actually can't get to. Where do you want to go? On our Leave it to own, me. weirdly enough. But we can pop on into Emir. We can kick down the door. What's up, Bernard? Is something the matter with you? You seem awfully flustered. Of something urgent, I need to ask you. Has traveling priest been here? Traveling priest. Ah, uh, now it all makes sense. What does? You've been chasing after this priest for quite a while, haven't you? Always puzzled why you couldn't catch up to him, right? Now here you are convinced you would be able to arrive before him. 
Oh dear, he had he arrived here before us, didn't he? Not he did, I'm afraid. We were enjoying some tea together not that long ago. We were talking about all of you, in fact. It just so happens that the traveling priest is an old friend of mine. He is? Surprising part of this priest is he doesn't like your average clergyman. But Father Bernard always did strike me as someone well connected, so if anyone might know him. Regardless, he left a letter in my care. It's addressed to all of you too. Here you are. Thank you. What's that? What's it say? Let's see. Greeted, students of class seven. You have my apologies for not taking the time to speak to you after you've come all this way in pursuit of me. I did very much enjoy our little game, however. While it may not have been able to catch up in the end, that courageous viewers is quite an impressive ship. I hope you make good use of it in the future. I also hear that you are working to improve the lives of this country's people and better the current situation. An honorable goal, if I may say so. This is an old nation, but change is always possible. The youngsters like all of you striving to improve it and may have a bright future indeed. Regardless, I will now be departing for Western Aragonia. These are dangerous times, and I have duties as a clergyman to fulfill. To fulfill them, I shall. Good luck to all of you in the future, wherever your travels may lead you. Barkor, the traveling priest. P.S. Well, it was not my intention. I seem to have caused a lot of concern to, for, to poor Father Paul. Please do pass on to him that I'm alive and well. I seem to have wasted quite a lot of your time by making you pursue me from place to place. It's not much, but please accept the attached as an apology. Of course, inside the envelope, along with the letter. The ecology. Seriously? You know what we were doing the whole time? We were no ordinary priest. So much how we every single time. Was he using a high-speed airship or something? What would a traveling priest have access to something like that, though? Did they use them in parts of the Septian Church? Come to think of it. I doubt you know, but the church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of divisions within it. What I was invited to join to was an organization called the Congregation for the Sacraments. They were both uh, full of immensely skilled people who take on some unique missions to pull it lightly. It can't be. Regardless, trust me when I say you needn't worry about him. And if you would, please pass on the news of his well-being to Father Paolo and Trista too. You will. The mystery now solved, they all return to Trista in order to pass the message on to Father Paolo. I suppose my words were all for naught in the end. Well, it's a relief. I feel terrible about the lengthy draw I've given you. It really wasn't that bad. It was kind of a learning experience. I never knew there were traveling priests who operated on this guy's level until now. Just must be really worried about the, this war of sending men like him to Erebonia. I should say so. I can't pretend to have much knowledge about matters of higher up in the church. Perhaps they concluded that Erebonia getting any more chaotic could destabilize the whole of Western Zemiria. A risk like that has nothing to celebrate, but I must admit that I find the presence of men like him in this region encouraging. As a fellow man of the cloth, I have a new standard to measure it up to, and I hope the aid I can offer people is on par. You should look in that, Father. Thank you. Take care. No matter how far away you may be, the thought and prayers of all of us who wish for peace will be with you. May the goddess bring you safely back to us soon. I hope so, Father. And we complete absentee fathers. Now, one thing I actually want to check is if Barkhorn is someone. Like, actually someone. Who shows up. Uh, and it looks like he is. Uh, Barkhorn is Gunther Barkhorn, who appears in Trails in the Sky the Third. Which is a weirdly named way to say Trails of the Sky 3, but that is how it is actually named. But yeah, um, hello, Peter's under a different name in that. Can you go and report our quests? Good work, Green. Toa, what are you doing on the screen? I bet you weren't expecting me to show up, were you? I can access that computer from in my chair. No, you report Prince Oliver, but seeing as we can't get in contact with him right now, I'm going to be the one listening to your reports today. Oh, I see. Well, in that case... Received 18,500 Mira. More importantly, look at that Whoa, AP. Rank and a look zero. at that A0 zero rank. Here's a bonus from the Academy. It's the Lionheart wow, accessory. That been tough. That should be everything. Still time left until the operation schedule starts, so let me know if you have anything else to report. I will, thank you. But there is nothing more to report in the entire game. We have the Lionheart. Plus 100 on all of your stats, preventing ailments, and preventing status down. It is a better version of the Golden Emblem. Oh, well, 
Oh, yeah, way better, actually. Lionheart, stats-wise, the best accessory in the entire game. So, I would say that's pretty worth it. Uh, but I will figure out what I want to do with that in between episodes, and next time, we're going to start our travels all around the world talking to everyone in all of Erebonia, who we haven't talked to yet. But, yes, I mean, that just sounds like full completion, really. But until then, see you guys later.